A culture shift is very difficult to do, and it's not something that happens overnight. And so it takes time. The more barriers that you can break down, the more in, you will impact and change your culture. And when you see some of the, the individuals with disabilities that are engaging in, in an open environment, say at a park, it, it really warms your heart. And to implement the changes that we have implemented really started by bringing the right people around the table, um, forming our coalition, beginning the conversation. It, it had to start there. So I think myself as a person with a disability, I really see some of the ways that maybe we don't think about including others. Because oftentimes we get these mental barriers where we think it's gonna be a monumental shift to make it more inclusive. And the reality of the matter is with a few subtle changes and small things, you can include people with disabilities. I think parks such as this really are opening people's eyes to how easy it is to be inclusive, to thinking differently. And I think for me, that's about it's about just making people feel a part of it. It's about bringing families together and making sure that no one's left out. Everyone can have a good time. Everyone is a part of the action. And I think for myself, I mean, growing up now and, and seeing how we can bring families together and how kids can still be a part of the action and feel that they're a part and they're included and they're thought of, I think that's huge. You look at things such as the sidewalk going up to the shelter house. It's a game changer. You know what I mean? Trying to get people to be able to navigate through the grass and hop up onto the shelter platform, that can be challenging. And I think when you look at the sidewalks and simple connection points there that a community can do, it really, it really opens the doors for people to be able to utilize these parks like they never could before. So I think that's the opportunity that you have with parks like this. When we address inclusive practices, we don't narrow it to just a disability. It's also for people who push strollers, people who walk more than two people beside each other. As part of the whole, we're able to incorporate aspects of a project that normally wouldn't be included. A happy, healthy community is much more than compliance. And incorporating how people use their world, I think that's really a big deal. So Sioux City Parks and Recreation uh, got into this job in this position to do exactly what we've been able to do for the last uh, five years. We are adding parks, we're adding to the quality of life, we're letting people come out here and uh, play, increasing our sense of community. In the summer we have a splash pad for kids that's all completely free to come out here and play. We offer different programs and different um, you know events that are out here throughout the summer and then the winter comes and it all kind of flips and everything we do goes uh, a little bit different and we have people coming out here and tubing on uh, in the winter and coming down the hill and single and double tubes and we have ice skating out here on the uh, what was formerly the splash pad and it really starts uh, working to have these you know, spaces work you know in the summer and then uh, primarily in the winter. To make it more inclusive in, in the way we've been able to involve people we have these double tubes now that have been fantastic for people of uh, different abilities to get out here and go down the hill and everyone you know gets to experience that. We have the the conveyor belt over here that whisks you away to the top without, you know, with just being able to stand or sit on it. Parks work when you have people of all abilities playing together seamlessly, and that's uh, one of our goals. Dewey's been coming to Cone Park. He really likes it, and we have never gotten to do anything like this before. So this is a huge recreational activity that gets him out of his bedroom and off of his iPad. So. I want to see him be a regular kid, just like all the other kids. I, I want him to be as normal as possible. It is unbelievable how much he gets to do and be included and be a part of the community. Of all the projects that I've worked on, this, this is my absolute favorite. I do my work as a public health professional completely different than what I did before. I mean, you know how, you know how passionate I've been about this. Because it just impacts so many people. And you may not see it every day. Because when it's barrier free, you won't see those barriers and you won't see the struggles. And that's really what it's all about.